What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a tweet called Gesture Music Controls. Now what this does is give you the ability to not have to use your music controls but you can use gestures instead. Now this is obviously going to work in your music application as well as in the control center and on the lock screen. So let's go ahead and jump into the music app here and I'm going to show you exactly what this can do. So you'll notice that we don't have any type of music controls but we can go ahead and use our gestures just by tapping. This is going to either play or pause. Now I have the music turned all the way down just so you guys can hear me but you can see the seconds going over here so you know that it's playing in the background. Now if I tap it again it's just going to pause. Also if we swipe then you can see it's going to go to the next song and if we swipe back it'll go to the previous song. And something that you can do only in the music app, you can't do this in the control center or on the lock screen, you can actually rate the song. So if we tap and hold, you'll see that we get those five stars right there and you can rate the song just by sliding your finger just like that. Now you can't do this like I said on the lock screen or the uh, control center if you tap and hold on the song then it's going to launch the music app but then once you're in the music app you can go ahead and uh, rate the song if you want to do that now another thing that you can do is actually swipe up and it's going to allow you to share it so if you want to share this on Twitter then it's going to uh, prompt you with a tweet post and tell you that you're playing this song by this artist and you can post that if you want to so let's get out of this and go into the control center and we'll swipe up right here and you can see that it's going to work right there so it'll start playing We'll pause it, we'll swipe to the right, and we get the uh, next song, the previous song. And you can actually turn off that little indicator, as you can see right there, where it says it's going to the next song or previous song. You can turn that off in the settings, and I'll show you the settings in just a second. Now, if we tap and hold, you can see, like I said, it's going to automatically launch the music app. So let's go back here and show you that the share also works. So we can share that with the share panel if we want to do that. Now, if we go to the lock screen here, you can see that the music is playing right up here. Now I've had a few issues with this and I'm on my 5S. I haven't tested this on anything else. But you can see here if I try to switch the song, then it's not going to actually change the song. So keep that in mind. You still can tap and hold and it's going to automatically launch the uh, music app right there. And if we go back here, you can still share it by swiping up just like that. We can tap on Twitter and you can post it directly from there. Now this is going to work with any other type of uh, music application that you can get playing in your uh, control center right here. So if we're playing a song from let's say Pandora, so let's look up Pandora here, open that up because I wasn't sure exactly where it was and I didn't want to spend time looking for it. But you can see here once this starts playing, so we have a song playing right there and we bring this up, you can see that it's playing right there so we can swipe to go to the next song and it's going to directly go to the next song. Of course you're still not going to be able to go back just because that's not a real feature in Pandora. But if we tap and hold on this, you can see it's going to open up the app that you're playing the music in. So pretty nice. Now let's go into the settings here and I'll show you exactly everything that you can set up here. So we'll tap on gesture music controls. Here's just a respring button. Here's where you can enable or disable it on your lock screen, control center, or music app. Down here you can change up the animation type so you have a bounce back which is what I have where it bounces back or if you slide off then if you slide then it's just going to completely slide off the screen and then fade in another one. So let's go down here is swipe control so you can change which direction uh, that you swipe if it's going to go to the next song or the previous song so you can mix that up if you want to as well as down here for sharing you can enable sharing you can disable that if you want to do that as well and you also have the action indicator which is what I was talking about earlier where if we swipe to the left you see that little action indicator where it's pointing to the right then you can turn that off if you want to so a nice little tweak for your music controls let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below And if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more of my videos then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel alright guys until next time this is iTweets with iPhoneHacks.com.